that our roots matter, where we are planted matters so that we can bear good fruit and bring glory to God with our life. Hey fam, thank you for joining in wherever you're at, whatever time you're watching this. Uh, we believe that God has a word for you today. Just some encouraging, maybe something to think about. Uh, we've been talking about fruitfulness for the last couple of weeks. If you missed those videos, make sure you go back because this just builds on it. Uh, we're talking about the, the difference and the importance of fruitfulness and then the, the four components of soil, seed, and this week it's roots and fruits. And I, I really love this portion of it because I think it gives so much representation. It gives us a good picture of like of us of us and, and, and what that should look like as a believer. Um, we're talking about our roots and what we're planted in, where our source is abiding in good soil because we've done the work, uh, God has done the work, and, and we've uh, thought about the seeds that are being sown there, and it's taken root, and now we're growing. And as we're growing, we have to continue to mind our roots to bear good fruit. Um, just the importance of that and what that means. And, um, you know, so our, our roots, right, as believers, as those who are Christ followers, I think Jesus just paints this beautiful picture in John 15. We, we talk about this a lot, but ab abiding in the vine, right? It, it's, it's us and it's him. It's a, a two-way street. Uh, I, I think sometimes we get caught in thinking that abiding is just, well, I'm just in him right um, but we also have to allow him to be in us um, and just like a vine on a tree the life comes from the bottom and goes through the branch and then it's sending other nutrients it's sending other messages sending other things back to the source and for us like that's just that's worship is that as we're planted in christ we're abiding in him it changes our identity it changes us we're planted he comes up in us through the holy spirit but then our reaction to that is to worship him and to reflect all those things back to him that it's a, a two-way street as he as he's abiding in us and, and we're abiding in him that we have that, that we have to allow him to abide in us as well that it's a two becoming one almost kind of deal and uh so to think about our roots think about the things that we're planted into we we the that we have healthy soil but the ultimately that we're abiding in christ is that he's our he's our our, our source that's where our roots are planted, that we're receiving our nutrients, we're receiving our, 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 our sustenance from Him alone. But sometimes we put our, our, our roots in other places and we'll find comfort or um, whatever those things might be in other things. And we begin to then suck some of the life from it and it starts to show up in our fruit, whether it's from the, the flesh, right? We talked about that a little bit, um, that as we, we put our roots into things and abide into other things and find value in other things and get away from just solely abiding in Christ and resting in him, that will start to come up in us and bear fruit in our life. And so minding our roots and making sure that we're staying abiding in Christ alone, for as our source of life, as our source of, of, of sustenance and joy and courage and direction and clarity is so important so that we can be fruitful believers. Uh, because in John 15, it says, apart from me, that you can bear no fruit. You can do nothing. You're actually dead once you begin to, your roots go into something else. He's saying, no, 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 abide in me. I'm what gives you life. That's what Christ tells us. And then as we're abiding in him, as we are feeding that, as we're abiding in his word and in prayer and in worship, that, that back to him, the, those rhythms and pursuing his presence, that we find the source of life that we need to bear good fruit in this world. And so when we're minding our roots, we can bear good fruits. And here's how he 
ends what he's talking about in John 15 about him being the vine and us being connected to him and our roots being in him. It says this in verse 8. It says, by this, by abiding in me, not apart from me, but in me, having your roots in me, being planted in me as you're planted in community with other believers that are in me. By this, my father is glorified. Where our roots are, planted in Christ, abiding in him, Jesus says, this is how you glorify my father. And he continues, because that is how you bear much fruit. Come on, there's a correlation here that the father is glorified when we're abiding in Christ alone so that we can bear much fruit. And it says, so proving to be my disciple. That the fruit that we produce proves to the world and also to God of where we're planted, of where our roots are, of what source is coming up in us. And when it's him, he recognizes it and he is glorified and the world recognizes it and God is glorified and you are fruitful, proving to be his disciple. And he, he continues this, as the father has loved me, so I love you. So continue to abide in my Love that if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I've kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. It's a planted to remain in. That word abide means to remain in. So we're minding our roots. We're making sure our roots are remaining in Christ and his love. And that these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you. And when my joy is in you, he finishes, and that your joy may be full. And so as we mind our roots and bear good fruit, we glorify God. We set ourselves apart from the world. They take notice because of the love that we're living in, which is Christ's supernatural, uh, surpassing knowledge, love that is bearing out in our lives because our roots are soaking up all the love that comes from him. We're bearing it in our lives. And then your joy is full because his love is full in us and his joy for us is full because we have abided in him. That our roots matter where we are planted matters so that we can bear good fruit and bring glory to God with our life. That is the, the, the whole thing. That is scripture. Be fruitful and multiply. Mind the soil, mind the seeds that you're being planted in so that when your roots come, when you start to set roots, when you die to yourself and the seed opens up and you're setting roots, that it's in Christ, we're abiding in him, minding our roots so that the end goal is that we bear good fruit, that we become fruitful. And how the world knows that we are his disciples is by the fruit that we bear. Come on, that, that's a beautiful picture. I think this, the last little couple of videos, if you missed them, go back, follow us, click the follow button, click the alert for when we're coming online. Check out those videos because we believe that this could be the most fruitful year for us, for you personally. If we can just think about that picture of the fruitfulness, how it works naturally in agriculture, but then think about our own hearts. May we set good soil, mine the seeds so that we can mind our roots to bear good fruits, to bring glory to God and thus fulfill his first command to us to be fruitful and multiply, but also the command before he left to go and make disciples, teaching them all of these things that we're rooted in and as he left and he, he fills us with his spirit that we can continue to be fruitful, continue to carry out the mission, continue to set ourselves apart and bear good fruit that can nourish those who are starving for truth, that are starving for love as they come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior because of the life that we're able to live in him and through him alone. Come on, that's a beautiful picture for us to think about. That's a beautiful picture for us to not just think about, but to do. Let's bear good fruit. Let's mind our roots and bear good fruit to bring glory to God alone. We love you. We're praying for you. Continue to do it. Mind your roots. 
so that we can bear good fruit. Thank you.